Poonam, I don't get it. The last quarter was bad. The stock is down 70% since Ellison I took the helm of J.C. Penney. Why would Lowe's want him? You know, he has experience in the home space, so he brings that, that expertise to Lowe's. In terms of, you know, him leaving JCP at this stage, JCP is still struggling, and it, I, I think him leaving so abruptly is just going to add more pain as the retailer has to see if they're going to continue his vision and his strategy to really diversify from apparel and move more into home or not. Right, so his strategy was all about streamlining expenses, cutting costs, also trying to drive those big ticket items like you mentioned. Um, who, who would be best poised to take on something at JCP to lead the strategy and also just fix what is very broken? You know, I don't know if I have an answer for that. I mean, JCPenney, of all the department stores, is the one that's probably struggling the most outside of, you know, Sears and others. But um, who is in good shape to take on this retailer and turn its sales around? The company's lost $5 billion in sales since Ron Johnson left, and it's not an easy feat to recover some or all of that at all. Yeah, and the same store sales were uh, just up two-tenths of 1% for the first quarter versus the 2.1% uh, estimate right. from analysts. So talk about about Lowe's for a second, what problem will Mr. Ellison solve for them? I don't cover Lowe's directly, but I think Lowe's, you know, has been struggling from what I hear um, in comparison to Home Depot, and I think they probably just need leadership to help improve execution, which Marvin Ellison has played a key role um, in that in his pr past career life. So if you were looking at JCPenney, what would be attractive to any CEO to want to step into a role when the stock has been completely hammered, the same store sales cannot get a grip when the re other retail sectors like Macy's, for example, are doing quite well? Yeah, I think, you know, the only silver lining here that I see is that they reset apparel last year where they went under a massive liquidation in the fourth quarter, right ahead of the fourth quarter, and is apparel poised to improve? And that's probably the bright spot for JCPenney if there is one. Um, so apparel is about 50 to 60 percent of the retailer's sales with women's apparel being 25 percent. So if they can get that to turn positive, that's a huge incremental opportunity to the bottom line. Uh, what's the probability that they can do that when their competitors are already doing that? Uh, it comes down to really execution and merchandise, and I think you know they've. They, I think they've done a better job most recently in dresses. They've mm -hmm. definitely turned the corner there, but n undoubtedly there is going to be more competition in the space. Macy's, Kohl's, you know, they're not just going to let them take their share, but they do have opportunity from Sears and Bonton.